Loved our wedding. Loved their dress, loved the open bar. Loved the, uh, loved the solid reminder that my wife dances like she has a past that I don't know about. Uh, <laughs> man, if I try dancing, my whole body just locks up and I hear a powerful voice go, do you want to continue living this life? <laughs> She dances like she's a lead role in a dirty dancing spinoff called I Slept With One of Your Friends. You're never gonna guess which one. Spoiler alert, it's Jessica. She's so good. I wanted to look good for our big day. I went out and I, I bought a new suit. I, went and I got a new suit at a big and tall store, um, which I kind of dragged my feet to doing, mostly because I, I don't see myself as like a big person. You know, like I'm a big person, I'm a happy person, but I'm, I'm not like a jolly person. And, uh, but I went and I walked in and it felt so good. First of all, so much air conditioning. Like, like <laughs> they know exactly how much I sweat from the car to the front door. I walk in, all the mannequins were bigger than I am. I'm just like, oh. I think I feel pretty. <laughs> I've never felt that before. I don't know. Like, usually I'm just ashamed alone in a dressing room, throwing a bunch of clothes that don't fit into a dirty little corner because I'm a monster. This place, I'm throwing shirts over the door like, Philip, do we have anything smaller? All of this is too big. <laughs> I was so happy, I was so excited, my heart started clapping, and that's dangerous when you're my size. I don't know, like... <laughs> it felt so great, but I was so hesitant to go. I just don't think of myself as fat, like, like playfully obese, I guess. I would, like, <laughs> lava lamp-esque. I don't know. <laughs> Like, I have fun with it. Like, when I go to the doctor's office and I get weighed, I, I always pretend it's that carnival game, guess your weight, and just stepping up on the scale, talking to the nurse, like, hey, if I'm not medically obese, do I win that tiger? And she'll start lining the blocks up, you know, because we weigh livestock with a digital scale, but I get the teeter-totter thing. And she hooked me up, she started me off on the 200 block, and I was like, oh, we're gonna get along fine. <laughs> And she starts tapping and along, so what's gonna happen? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I was just hesitant. Like, okay, maybe I'm fat, but I'm not Walmart fat. Like, no one's wheeling me around. <laughs> Man, I, I just put that suit on, I caught my reflection in the mirror, I was just... <gasps> a prince. <laughs> it's so good. So good, my whole life, my whole life, I've always been a bigger person. I've always had the stigma against attractive people. Like, why do they think they're better than me? What is confidence? How does it work? Where does it come from? I spent five minutes in a big and tall store. I turned into the hottest white bitch in the world. <laughs> right? That sales guy, he circled back. Sir, you're looking good. Can we get you a beer? I was like, hmm, vodka, club soda, three lime wedges. You're adorable. Mwah. I and my wife had way more fun with the wedding. You girls have fun, you guys all get your hair did. My wife bought her all, all her bridesmaids, got matching pajamas. I was like, babe, why are we spending money on this? Why do you guys need matching pajamas? She's like, babe, don't worry about it. Like, I'm paying for it, it's all going on my credit card. I was like, yeah, but next week that's my credit card. <laughs> oh, wow. We did a first look when you see the wife before she walks down the aisle. That's a weird thing, man. They're like, we're gonna take this woman. You've been dating her for six years. You know what she looks like. We're gonna put her in a different color dress. We're gonna put cameras here, 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 and here. And if you don't cry, you're a monster. I was nervous, man. I'm trying to be present for this moment. I got my new suit on. We got married on the beach. She wanted to have her first look on the secluded fire road overlooking the water. She also wanted a classic car for arrival and getaway, so we rented this old classic car. And I'm just in this thing with this film crew, and, and we're going down this canyon road. This car doesn't want to go faster than 10 miles per hour. So there's just a long line of people behind us, just, move your ass! Like, Thank you so much, this is the best day of my life. Thank you. Thank you so much. You idiot! I will never look better than today, thank you. Look good, feel good. We got out to this fire road and I stopped about 15 feet shy of where we were supposed to have our first look because where we were supposed to have this special moment was someone else's car with two people having the most aggressive sex I've ever seen in my entire life. 
right away I'm on the phone with my future mother-in-law like just hey uh, I think today's gonna go great little hiccup uh, we just got to the first look place there's kind of a car here and people are kind of hooking up in it and I don't think she knows what hooking up means because uh, she's a nice lady and because she also just went well just ask them to leave <laughs> And now I'm stuck. Like, I don't, I don't want to ruin their day. You know, who knows? Maybe this is their first look. I don't want to step on that. You know? So I'm kind of like awkwardly, like, I'm too scared to touch the car. So I'm like kind of just dancing around the outside of it. Like, hello. And finally, me and the woman, we make eye contact. And I just go, I'm not going to get closer to the car. Because again, what's going through their mind? We're in the middle of a canyon. I'm in a suit with a film crew. <laughs> Just, hi, I'm Hunter Hill, and you just got caught fucking in a kid. Do you have any regrets? <laughs> I go, I'm not going to get closer to the car. And then the, we maintain eye contact, and she got off uh, of him. She didn't finish. She removed herself. <laughs> sorry. I go, I'm so sorry. I'm getting married today. My, my, my. My wife's about to come here, we're supposed to take pictures. And before I could finish, the dude just pulled up his sweatpants and said, we out. And he threw me some deuces. <laughs> In her defense, he did have a way with words. And I'm just so frazzled. I'm just trying to be present in this moment. You know, there's so much riding on this. I'm so frazzled that like he's pulling off just as my, my wife's family's pulling up and film crew slaps a blindfold on me and spins me around in a circle like I'm about to hit a fucking pinata. <laughs> I'm just nervous. I'm just like, trying to be there. And finally my wife turns me around and she lifts the blindfold off of me and I just start crying. Partially because she looked so beautiful. Mostly because I'm so glad she wasn't the woman in the car. <laughs> I, 